Coach, how were you guys able to take control of the game in that second half? We just kept, uh, you know, kept with our principles, kept with our, our habits, and uh, I'm just really pleased with the defensive performance. You know, they, they, they got out early, made some, made some tough shots, but we liked, liked where we were in terms of our, our, our tactics, uh, and uh, you know, guys, did, guys did a heck of a job. Even though we didn't shoot the ball well uh, tonight, I, I, I thought our defense gave us a chance. Um, we talked in the pregame about it being the perfect storm, that Miami game, first game after a long road trip, plus still a little bit of the emotion from the Karis thing. Does this win and the way you guys played feel like a, an exhale? Yeah, no, it, feel, it feels because of those circumstances, and you want to you confirm that you can, you know, we, we can still be a good team. I mean, we, we love Karis, we miss him, but, uh, you know, we got some good players in that locker room. Uh, you know, now it's to confirm whether we can handle it back-to-back, -back, and, and we haven't handled it uh, well so far. Far. Uh, so, you know, to, you know, going in and getting after this Clipper game tomorrow will be, be important for us. After, uh, in the, well into the second quarter, you're giving up about 60% shooting. And then a four or five minute stretch, um, defense just took hold of the game. I mean, was there anything that you did tactically to change that? Or? No, we didn't really change. We just stuck with what we were doing. And, and those, are the, those are the moments as a coach you have to say, hey, we're going to you know, stay in our kind of normal defense. We're going to change. We started to stay with We stayed with it. Uh, hoping that they'd, they'd start missing, and, and, and they started missing. Uh, and then having Jared Allen back, you know, his rim protection just changes changes the equation. I thought we were, we were uh, you know, excellent defending the rim tonight. For him, and I know this, you may say that too much is made of this, but for him to perform the way he did coming back off an illness and against that guy who's... Yeah. You know, kind of had his number on several occasions. I mean, how important is that? Yeah, because I, yeah, Brian, I was worried about. You know, he, he came off of. Uh, he was pretty sick, and and you know, what I worried about tonight, where his energy, but his energy, whatever they, uh, you know, whatever the doctors gave him, it it, it worked because he was he was outstanding. I thought his energy was great. And, uh, we played him more minutes when we, than we thought we would. So uh, uh, excellent performance by him, and and offensively rolling to the rim. Uh, you know all those lobs we were getting. That's 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 uh, you know that's very welcomed. Do you keep Dinwiddie with the bench because of the scoring element? Because the bench had 56 points tonight, outscored him a, a ton. Yeah. Uh, do you have to have him there for the bench? And and then he, when he was out there with D'Lo, yeah. they seemed to do well. Yeah, and we changed up the rotations a little bit. It's, it was a subtle change and and uh, put put Shabazz with D'Angelo a little and and uh, separated uh, uh, D'Angelo and Spencer a little bit. But they also played together. Uh, but we did. You know, it's one game. And and we're tinkering with lineups, and uh, uh, but I thought it, I thought it was good tonight. I thought it thought it worked out well. Do you feel like you uh, your team has grown in terms of when you get a big lead, holding on and kind of keeping the team from getting back in? Yeah, holding a big lead up 16 against a you know a very very talented team. I, I I don't think I don't think we win this game last year or, or the year before. I, I just don't. I think uh, you know they make uh, they make plays and 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 we kind of shoot ourselves in the foot. But uh, I think we're a more experienced team in, in these situations. Coach, not a lot of action for the Wizards uh, from three-point distance tonight. Were you guys doing a good job of running them off the line, or were they just not making that shot a priority? We're first in the league, and uh, we give up the least threes in the league. So there's obviously, uh, uh, and they shoot a ton of threes. I was worried about their three-point shooting coming in. I know they've made a made an adjustment there, and when you watch it, they they're they're, they're definitely more aggressive from the three-point line. But uh, that's just our general philosophy. We, we like to limit three-point shots, and and uh, you know I thought we did a good job tonight. Did you did you like the the little cameo that you got from Rody off the bench tonight? Oh man, like. You know, it, you know, it's early, and but I'm excited. I am. I think he can. I think he can help us. And uh, you know, Rondé was out tonight, and and what's what's uh, you know his athleticism is 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 uh, uh, a pleasant pleasant surprise, and his his poise, composure, uh, activity. Um, very, very pleased with his. Um, I'm not sure we win without him tonight. I know it doesn't seem like a, you know when you look at the stat sheet, it probably doesn't seem. But I'm not sure we do. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.